Good morning. Today I'm sewing a curved block and I'm going to show you a really easy way to do this. Now this is my outside piece and what I've done is I've just gone through and I have put a crease right there at the center. And here is the inside part of the block. This happens to be for a pattern called lemons, uh, but you could do this with a drunkard's path or any other curved block as well. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take and crease that center. I'm not pulling on anything. That is a bias edge. You do not want to stretch. And just so that it makes it easier for you to see it, I'm going to take my little friction pin and I'm going to make a mark right there at the center. Now, on mine, there is no right or wrong side for the white fabric. But the way you would do this is you put the correct sides of the fabric facing one another. This is how it's going to look when you're done. But you're going to take the correct sides of the fabric facing and you're going to start right there at that little end. Put it on here. I'm going to light up the end. I've got my foot on there that's got a quarter inch mark. I'm going to make sure I start and continue at that quarter inch mark all the way across. Let's see if we can get you a little better angle there. Now, once I get this started, I just took like three stitches. I'm going to take and match up my two little center marks. And of course, yours wouldn't be done in red. Yours would be in whatever color you like or <clears throat> could just be folded to match. One of my favorite tools in my sewing room is my scissors. You can tell I've had them for a while. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to gently stretch that bias edge so that it comes out and matches the edge of the piece underneath. You notice I'm sewing very, very slowly. I'm making sure I keep that quarter inch edge right there. Once I reach the halfway point, I'm going to bring the rest of this little piece over here. I'm using my finger as my anchor. And again, I'm going to get my little tweezers in here and use that to hold everything where I want it. I'm not pulling hard. I'm just barely pulling. You could do this with a stiletto, but I don't want to accidentally put a hole in my fabric. I'm going to back stitch one or two stitches. Cut that. And then we'll lay this out flat. And I'm going to just turn that over so that the curve lays down. And I'm just pushing. I'm not really pulling on anything or stretching. Now you'll, of course, give it a press, but that's done. All the ends match. There's an easy way to make a curved block for yourself. 